Life's deepest meaning is not found in accomplishments, but in relationships. I'm going to teach you the five love languages and explain how to use them to have better relationships. The lessons come from the book, The Five Love Languages, by Gary Chapman. You'll learn which love language you speak, as well as a simple game to bring more love into your relationships. Although the book is based on romantic relationships, these lessons definitely still apply to all other types of relationships as well. First I'll explain each of the love languages, and then I'll explain how to use that knowledge. So, love language one is words of affirmation. Mark Twain said, I can last two months on a good compliment. This love language is all about the words you say. For example, I love you, you're beautiful, you've done a great job, you're really intelligent. Any form of verbal appreciation. Love language two is quality time. To show this type of love, you will spend time with the other person. For example, going for a picnic, going for a walk, going on holiday, anything where the other person has your undivided attention is this love language. Love language three, gift giving. Simply giving someone a gift. It could be flowers, chocolates, jewelry, a new dress or shirt. This is basically what some people might see as buying love, but for some people this is a way that they measure love. If this is you or your partner, I'd say you're very lucky as this is the easiest love language to begin to communicate. Love language four, acts of service. This means doing something for the other person. Keeping the house tidy, cooking dinner, mowing the lawn, taking out the rubbish. You could pay someone to complete these tasks, but that wouldn't communicate this love language. It's about you personally putting effort into the task. Love language five, physical touch. This doesn't mean just sex, although it does include it. This means any form of physical love, hugs, kisses, holding hands, sitting close to the other person, anything that shows a physical connection between two people. So, they're the five love languages. Words of affirmation, quality time, gift giving, acts of service, and physical touch. But what does this actually mean? How can you use that information? If you know the love language your partner values the highest, then you can be much more effective in showing them love. Gary Chapman explains that in most relationships where there's an issue, it's because two people do not speak the same love language. One person may value acts of service the highest, while the other values words of affirmation. One may value gift giving, while the other values quality time. Problems arise when there's a mismatch in the love languages of the people in the relationship. If this is the case, one person can feel very unloved, even if the other person is putting in a lot of effort. The problem is that one person may be putting in effort in the wrong way. They're speaking the wrong love language. The great thing is when you learn which love language the other person speaks, it becomes much easier to make them feel loved. It will actually take less effort than before because you will no longer be wasting time trying to communicate love in the wrong way. Do not waste time and effort trying to communicate in the wrong love language. For example, imagine you value gift giving highest while your partner values quality time the highest. Your partner wants you to spend quality time with them. If instead you decide to spend more time at work to earn more money so you can buy them gifts to show them how much you love them, this will work against you and the effort is wasted because you will have less quality time together, which is what actually matters to your partner. In this case, the solution would be the opposite. You should work less, forget about buying them gifts and instead spend more time with them. It's all about finding what matters most to your partner and doing that. Learn what love language they speak and then show love in that way to effectively communicate love to them. So how do you find out what your love language is? The first thing that you can try is to order all five love languages from the one you value the highest to the one you value the least. See if it matches your partner's. You can also ask yourself the following three questions. What is the thing your partner does or fails to do that hurts you most deeply? The opposite is probably your love language. What have you requested most from your partner? The thing you've requested the most is your love language. In what way do you regularly show love? The way you show love is usually the way that would make you feel loved. Can you speak more than one love language? Yes, you definitely can. There are usually one or two of the languages that will resonate with you the most, and this gives you leverage. Focus on the ones that mean the most, and that will have the biggest positive effect in the least amount of effort. The simple game from the book is called the Love Tank Game. At any time you want, you ask your partner how full their love tank is from 1 to 10. How loved do they feel right now? If they said 6 in that moment, you can ask them what you can do to increase that number and then simply do that. Ask them later what their number is and see if you're filling up their love tank or not. Remember to keep in mind their preferred love language because then you can fill up their tank much faster. This is a very simple game to play but it's enjoyable and it helps you learn what works best for your partner so you can use it in the future without needing to play the game.